I think the main point is that not all HPV positive oropharynx cancers are the same. That although the molecular tests that we looked at are not necessarily readily available in the lab right now, there are a subset of patients that we have to consider are not going to have those favorable outcomes that we oftentimes uh, associate with HPV positive disease. And that uh, things like smoking status should really be taken into account uh, when considering whether to de-intensify therapy. Obviously, the point of our study is to say that we should be basing that decision not on generally arbitrarily saying 10 pack years smoking, but actually molecular tests. We're not there yet in the clinic to be able to offer those things, but I think one day we will.